Hey, I know my audience is full of froggy toters, and that's a consequence of Babylonia. Now, how to explain that? Froggy toters are a very strange class of people. Uh, but they have a purpose. There's a reason for them. Uh, so, Babylonia is a bell and dragon with its basis around a practice girl. First of all, did you survive the bell curve? And this is pertaining to a secret place where practice girl, the bell, becomes secretly worshipped and immortalized because uh, the boys have their honeymoon with the girl first. And it happens between age 13 and 15, and it's kept a secret. And she owns all the men. She owns all, and it's usually a stolen beauty. And it symbolizes, is symbolized by the Cape Buffalo. And this little symbol kind of reminds you of a bell. Okay, now I put the dot above to symbolize the children who are sacrificed who get popped out of this system because it's, it presses on soul forces and creates uh, extractions and sort of a histamine goes highward from a soul. It's just very strange. It's hard to explain this, but okay. So age 13 to 17, we have juvenilia phase, which usually it's hard to keep that in that juvenilia phase beyond the age of 18. It starts to get strained. It's hard to make that last past age 21 um, some people will try, try to keep age 21 in the juvenilia zone, but there comes a time when the life phase requires us to move on to mommy loves daddy, two kids in a house, a big fence property, move on to this phase. And when things fall apart, you go up the Cape Buffalo, age usually 40, the lies come up and the truth comes out and all of the family seek blah, blah, blah. My parents die off. Kids are growing up. The kids are no longer five-year-olds anymore and so sort of a new phase pushes on and this is where a lot of people get confused where to drop off let me pause